Hello, and welcome to the last half of Route 20. Last time we traipsed through the Seafoam Islands, we caught a few Pokemon, including the legendary bird Articuno. This nets us two of three legendary bird Pokemon. The last will be Moltres. Moltres has been moved. In the original uh, red, blue, yellow, Moltres, I believe, was actually available on uh, Cinnabar Island, where we're going now. But now we have to go to one island. Upon one island, we can enter the scary and haunting Mount Ember. And within Mount Ember, we will find Moltres resting. But for now, we're on Route 20. So as before the Seafoam Islands, this last half of the route holds no new Pokemon. But it does present a small amount of trainers to battle. Mostly swimmers. There is also two off-brand trainers. A bird keeper who flew in and boy, are his arms tired. Ha 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 I apologize. <laughs> I couldn't help but make the joke. As well as a picnicker who swam out here as well also. Now, the hardest part about this route isn't the fact that we have trainers to battle. It's the fact that it comes on the heels of exiting a dungeon. Now, if you've been kind of following along and battling all the trainers along the way, most of your Pokemon should be, you know, several levels higher than the trainer's Pokemon. In fact, though Charizard is going to be weak to many of these other trainers' Pokemon, I will end up using him to win the day on the rest of the route here. This is actually part of why I try to give many of my Pokemon as many varied moves and typing uh, of moves, rather than uh, just rely on Stab. Now, if you need a reminder, Stab stands for Same Type Attack Bonus. And what this means is that Pokemon like Charizard, as a fire type, will deal more damage using a fire type move. In some ways, it seems kind of unfair that this is so when you consider the normal typing and the vast move pool that they can draw from. But uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna see Charizard go through and trounce a lot of the water types, even though you know he will be weak to some of their moves. Partially due to level, and partially due to the fact that he has moves that they are going to be neutral to. So that helps. In fact, I believe I use mostly Seismic Toss throughout most of these battles. Alright, so besides that, since we're already talking about moves, let's talk about the Pokemon Home update that came out recently. Uh, within that update, they talked about how they plan on changing Pokemon that will be going from Pokemon Legends of Arceus. Arceus? Arceus? Ar Arceus? I think it's Arceus. Uh, it used to be Arceus. I know this is off topic. It actually used to be Arceus, but because Arce is considered foul language a bit uh, in uh, portions of Europe and Britain and all that kind of stuff, they changed it to Arceus. But it used to actually honestly be Arceus. Anyways, so going back. so. Pokemon Legends Arceus, there are some moves that these Pokemon have that are not available in any other games. As well as, you know, the strong and agile typing. So what's going to happen, apparently, is that when you transfer a Pokemon from Pokemon Legends Arceus into Pokemon Home, when that becomes available, the Pokemon are going to get a different move set that will instead include moves that would have been available to them at whatever their level they're at in the other games. Um, some of the things that won't change, even though you may not see it visually, is that Pokemon who are Alpha Pokemon, meaning they're giant Pokemon, are going to retain their size. So, if you transfer them over from Pokemon Legends to Arceus, and then hopefully we'll be able to transfer them from Arceus back into uh, from home and then from home back into Arceus. I don't know how that's going to work. Um, if it's going to be something similar to Pokemon Let's Go, which I'll talk about in just one moment. 
Uh, I'm hoping that's the case, because if so, that means that if you have an Alpha Pokemon, you put it in Pokemon Home, and then you transfer it from Pokemon Home back to Legends Arceus, it'll still be Alpha. Uh, otherwise, it's just going to have a larger size variant or whatever. So, uh, those of you who are trying to make a Pokemon Living Dex, get to catching those Alpha Pokemon so you can get a Pokemon Alpha Dex as well, I guess. Let's see, what else can we talk about? Well, what else is there to talk about with Pokemon Home? Because that's kind of what I'm concentrating on, which, um, since I already brought it up, let's talk about how Home works, transfer works right now. So, you can transfer Pokemon from Pokemon Bank, which is still a pay-for-service at this time. In March of 2023, which will be next year, it'll be a free service. So, if you don't have it yet, I would download it on your 3DS and all that kind of stuff so you have it available when it becomes free so you can, you know, transfer your Pokemon from your DS games and all that kind of stuff. Uh, into a, a Dex, you know, kind of deal, uh, if that's something you're interested in. Uh, it'll also be beneficial if you just want to transfer Pokemon between 3DS games, it makes it much easier uh, to just go, okay, well, here it is, I can pop them in this, and then pop them out, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, I believe it works that way. Um, I haven't used Pokemon Bank in a long time. Back, the last time I used Pokemon Bank was when I purchased Pokemon Home two or more years ago and just transferred everyone from Bank into Home. Let's see, so, oh yeah, so Pokemon Bank, uh, like I said, will be free in 2023. It's great if you're trying to make a living dex, uh, as some Pokemon still aren't available in other games. So that is one way to get Pokemon into Pokemon Home. Another way is to transfer Pokemon from the Pokemon Sword and Shield games, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, Let's Go Pikachu, and there was one more game. Oh, and Pokemon Go, the, uh, the, the phone application. So the way it works is if you transfer a Pokemon from Pokemon Go, to Pokemon Home, it's a one-way transfer. To do the transfer as well, I believe you have to have a certain amount of energy or points saved up, which costs can cost you can pay actual money to do it, or you have to catch X amount of Pokemon or something like that. I I, I used to play Home or Pokemon Go off and on, and then basically played it enough to get Mel Metal and its evolution into Pokemon Home. And that was about it for me, where that was concerned. I kind of stopped after that. I picked it back up for a little bit when there was a Gigantamax Mel Metal um, gift available if you transferred a Pokemon from Pokemon Go to Pokemon Home. I did it that way too. But otherwise, I haven't really played Pokemon Go too much. So I couldn't tell you if the system got changed because I don't remember it costing money or points when I did it. Po transferring Pokemon from Pokemon Sword and Shield into Pokemon Home is a both ways process as long as that Pokemon is available to be used in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Which means that uh, any Pokemon that's in there that is available in the game, say a Bulbasaur, uh, it could be a Bulbasaur from Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow. Uh, if you have it, it's. it's possible to do. It's actually very possible to do with, uh, we'll talk, we'll get back to that. But if you do that, you can use that Bulbasaur in Sword and Shield. It might delete a couple of moves that aren't available in Sword and Shield, but that, that's one way to use a Bulbasaur. So you can use a, a OG Bulbasaur in Sword and Shield. Like I said, as long as that Pokemon is available in the game and you have it at home, you can transfer it out of home into Pokemon Sword and Shield play around with it, and then throw it from Pokemon Sword and Shield back into home, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. The other game that connects to Pokemon Home currently is Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu. The way that works is you can take any Pokemon from Pokemon Let's Go and throw it in Pokemon Home. Current. Then you can take that same Pokemon and put it back in Pokemon Let's Go. You cannot transfer any Pokemon that hasn't 
come out of Let's Go into Let's Go. So let's say you have a Pikachu. From Pokemon Let's Go, you throw it in home, you can take that same Pikachu, toss it back in Let's Go. But let's say you have another Pikachu from Sword and Shield. You can't take that Pikachu and put it in Let's Go. I'm not sure why that is, but that is how it is. So you can't take Pokemon from Let's Go um, and or from Pokemon from other games and put them in Let's Go. The coding just won't work. Apparently. Now, what this also means is, say you take that same Pikachu from Let's Go, you throw it in Pokemon Home, you play around, you come back to Let's Go later, you throw it back in Let's Go, and you play with it for a little bit, right? And you're like, I want to play Sword and Shield, and I want to use that Pikachu. That Pikachu and I have been through so much together. He's my ride and die, right? So you take that Pikachu, you throw it in Let's Go, uh, from Let's Go, you take and you toss it in Pokemon Home, and then you, uh, you know, transfer it over to Pokemon Sword, Pokemon Shield, whatever. And you play the game, you beat the game with that Pikachu. Oh man, I, I kind of want to use it again in Let's Go. I, I you know, want to play Let's Go again, and I'd like to have that Pikachu on my team again. So you take that Pikachu that was originally from Let's Go, that you transferred over to Sword and Shield, you played around with it for a little bit, beat the game and all that kind of stuff. That's cool, right? So you throw it back in Pokemon. Oh. That Pokemon is no longer able to transfer into Let's Go. So, like I said, I'm not sure exactly why that is, but basically what happens is when you take that Pokemon from Let's Go, you put it at home, it still registers as a Let's Go Pokemon. The moment you transfer that Let's Go Pokemon to Sword and Shield, it is no longer registered as a Let's Go Pokemon. It is now registered as a foreign Pokemon, as in foreign as in not from the game. And so Let's Go will no longer recognize it as a playable creature. Now, we don't know if that's going to be the case with games like Pokemon Legends Arceus and Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. Kind of hope not. Um, just because I need to complete my Pokedex in Shining Pearl. And I'm basically waiting on Pokemon Home to finish up, and I'm just going to transfer all the Pokemon that need to go in there into Pokemon Shining Pearl, hopefully, and get a complete Pokedex that way, and just leave it, leave it be. <laughs> kind of how I did it for certain Pokemon in, uh, like, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. At the time, I had a full living Dex in Pokemon Bank, and I just transferred all those Pokemon from Bank to Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, and got the complete Pokedex that way. Uh, beyond that, really not too much to talk about where home is concerned, as, like I, I said last video, it's still not available for Legends of Arceus and Shining Pearl. Uh, brilliant time. I hope that changes shortly. It's been a few months. Um, I know a lot of people are annoyed and, you know, frankly, are probably a little bit angry that it's still the case, but I, I want it. I really do, especially with it being a service that you pay for. And so it'd be nice to utilize it for the other games. But I'm also not annoyed enough to be angry. It's just kind of irksome. It's kind of like, ah, you know, it's, uh, the service is not what you imagined or it seemed the promise of it was. So I think that's what's more irksome than anything else. Anyways, uh, the other things we've done in Seafoam uh, after finishing round 20, as you've seen, is we have collected uh, the fossil Pokemon that we had available, Kabuto and uh, Aerodactyl, which uh, I, I cut it out just to kind of cut down on the time for this. But the quickest way to do it is to give him the fossil, you know, make sure you have space to accept the Pokemon in your team, too. I cut that out. I went to the center, dropped off some Pokemon, all that kind of stuff. But you give them the fossil, leave the building itself, just turn around, walk back in the building, walk up and talk to him, and he'll be like, he'll tell you that the Pokemon is available, and he'll give it to you. Give him the next fossil, do the same thing. Walk out, walk back in. The only other way to get uh, the other fossil Pokemon that you didn't pick up, which... 
for uh, me would be Ammonite, is to actually trade for an Ammonite itself. Or, you know, if you're not too concerned with legal means kind of deal, you can uh, Game Shark it. That's about that for the fossil Pokemon. When we come back in the next video, we're going to be exploring the Pokemon uh, Mansion, which is an abandoned facility. To get the key to enter Blaine's gym. So we can get our seventh gym badge. The mansion is interesting, it's not too bad, a little confusing. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a lot of editing for that one because I spent a lot of time just kind of walking around being lost. So, until next video, everyone, I hope you all have a great day. Stay happy healthy and we'll see you next time remember to like subscribe all that kind of fun stuff and until i see you guys farewell